you guys will see a little castle. You can see what castles look like at the game. Castles are another innovation of Field of Glory 2 Medieval. So yeah, same thing. 40%, 25% more, or 60%. You must defeat the enemy relief force. Now, that's the other thing, too. Um, oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? I got a follow. Follow from Abelard. Thank you, Abelard. Much appreciated. We love new followers here. Um, yeah, that's the other That's the other little thing here. Uh, we have to defeat the, the enemy relief force. So it's, a, so it's just like the last battle, the delaying action, except in reverse. Uh, if I don't win the battle, they automatically win. So I have to force them off the field. So the, the onus of attack is going to be on me here. I believe. Anyway, we get 250 reinforcements. Oh, what do we want here? Let me, let's look at our current army. We have eight knights, one sergeant, one dismounted knight sergeant. We have an armored spearman. These guys are pretty good. These we have medium defensive, regular defensive spearmen, which are problematic. And then you got raw spearmen. We have eight of those, and those are really problematic. <laughs> Here's a problem: when you see anything with the name raw, you have to be a little worried because they have they have raw troop quality, which means once a unit next to them panics, then they will panic, and then you have a chain panic, and it's horrible. That's why you always want to check the troop quality here. If it says raw, you want to be worried. We have crossbowmen, uh, two archers, and two light archers. Okay. Let's take a look at the battlefield before we do force selection. So here's our army. We actually have a pretty large army. I think that's because we did a delay that delaying action. So it preserved our forces. So it gives us a large army. And then over here is the enemy castle that we are besieging. This is Malmesbury. And you notice Malmesbury is pretty well decked out. They have a... Uh, they got Hilbert de Calmont in here. He's got knights and sergeants, knights and sergeants. In other words, you know, these are the uh, these are the Panzer Fives of the game. And then you've got Spearmen, dismounted knights and sergeants, and another raw Spearmen over there. So there's five units, and I think even more can show up too. So we have to watch our flank, because they're going to come sortieing over this drawbridge. And yeah, unfortunately, we have to keep an eye on them. Fort, I have some rough ground here. Maybe what we can do is put some archers in here, like especially crossbowmen. Crossbowmen, as you can, as you saw in the last battle, really can do a number on armored troops. They're kind of sucky against unarmored troops, but against armored troops, they tend to act like a can opener. And so I'm thinking this would be a good place to station some crossbows problem is we have to get there first um yeah because this is the this is our boundary line here we have one crossbowman unit all oh we actually we have two because we just bought one <laughs> i must have misclicked and bought one that's fine we'll buy we'll buy that and i got 201 extra points I well I can buy a Welsh spearman. Do I need a Welsh a medium troop somewhere? Maybe. Yeah, a Welsh spearman would be kind of useful. Maybe up on this hill, put them in the rough ground. Maybe up on the hill. That wouldn't be a terrible use for a medium infantry. So maybe a Welsh. We'll probably get another. I only have 151 points left though. I have to be careful. We can get the standard wagon. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that the, that tends to do is it 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 changes the the calculus for what you need to do to route before you start to route. Like it, it's it's harder for your army to route if you have an intact standard wagon, basically. And other than that, it just sits there and it's it's got troop quality superior. It's really hard to kill. So even if it does get attacked by the enemy, it can usually hold out for a while. But I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if I want to. It's not a very exciting unit. <laughs> it just kind of sits there. Uh, let's get a pick up an armored spearman. I wonder. 
if I need more light archers, I'd, it probably wouldn't hurt to get one. Now I got two regular archer units. Those are better against unarmored troops than the crossbow. So, anyway, what do I got? 79 points left. I could just get another Knights and Stars and call it a day. Yeah, why don't we do that? So, yeah, and then we have, we're seven points short, but that'll do. So let's hit accept on that and set up for battle. Sometimes they give you an extra general unit. They didn't this time, though. Lomitar, Lomitar, hello, says, I heard that soldiers fight for their standard. Yes, that's true. So I guess if you get, get the battle standard unit, what, what it does is it's, it becomes harder to route. Your your army becomes harder to route for some... I, I, I forget exactly how they how they calculate it, but that's kind of how it works. But that there's a there's a there's a catch to it. Your battle your battle standard wagon has to be a certain distance away from your front line, and I think the rule is it has to be cl a same distance to your front line as the enemy front line is to you, something like that. So the closer your forces get, the closer your battle standard needs to be. As I recall it, it's something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and set this up for battle. Okay, so I have these two. I have the crossbowmen here. I need to move these over to here because I want to move those into here. Where's my other crossbow? All right, so let's move you to there. And I'm going to try to get those crossbowmen to the rough here to keep an eye on these guys. We have a lot of... Uh, lot of knights. Now these archers, I wonder what we can do with these. It's actually not a bad idea to move them onto this hill because they can use the high ground to shoot over your own troops. So maybe we put those guys in the back. And if we can deploy our, uh, our infantry line here, the archers can be up here shooting over their heads, which is not a bad thing. You could do that on this hill too, but it's hard to say how far they're going to advance. Yeah, let me move these knights over here for now. Figure out what to do with them in a second. So I picked up some well spearmen. We want those possibly on the flank. those here. We even go into that rough. So let's be the Welsh. There's another armored spearman. Yeah, we have a lot of spearmen. We have an overabundance of spearmen. Spearmen, 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 spearmen. Trog's finest is still there. Uh, armored spearmen. There's a sub-general. Raw spearmen. Let's put these guys in the back. These are all raw spear. I'm try to keep these guys in reserve. Now, where are we going to put our cavalry? We have we have these three knight units here. That's our commander in chief, Henry Fitz Empress. He's got a companion here. Now we can always change these commands around too if we want. Yeah, and then I got five knights, five knights and sergeants over here too. Uh, some of them are actually starting outside our deployment zone. It's weird. Sometimes they'll give you units that are outside your normal deployment zone. And if you, you can either leave them there or move them into the deployment zone, but you can't move them out here anymore. So I have to decide whether I even want these guys here. Hmm. And then you can also see I have, a dis I, have an, a, I have an option to dismount my knights if I want to, although... I would have just bought dismounted knights if I had wanted to do that. Right, let me 
me move these over here for now because I want to take stock. Because we have to come up with a good strategy for this battle. That's the key. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to set up these guys over here. I'm just going to move them over here for now. So I got a group of five here under this subgeneral, Odo. Odo de Cormais. This is a little group of two knights under, under King Henry here, I'd like to call him. And this is uh, Albri de la Eagle. So he has got three knights over here. Now I can mix these up if I want. Tell you what we're gonna do. Let's move put the crossbowmen here. Get them ready to move to that rough ground over there. And they're gonna plant themselves in the rough ground and shoot any of the, the knights that try to come from the garrison. And then right over here is where we're gonna put put these guys actually put some beauty here. this way because I think that's what we're going to do this is going to be the right flank cavalry force so we'll put those there don't go ahead and follow the crossbows out this will be the left flank cavalry Go ahead and put a couple of raw spearmen here in these gaps. Spread out these other raw spearmen. These will be like reserves. Sub general. It's on some dismounted knights. And the king. Let's see. What, oh, yeah, we also have these guys. Yeah, I've got three light archers. Now let me put these guys over here. This flank. You know, I think I've changed my mind. We're going to take this group here. We're going to move this, these three to the right flank. Although, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I could have just changed the command structure. But I want the main cavalry force over here. will go in this flank. Yeah, I could always change the command structure if I wanted. Right, so then you guys will go here. Be the uh, you'll be the right flank cavalry force, and this the king here is going to be the strategic strategic uh, armor reserve. We'll put him right here. Yeah. So if we have any problems in the middle, these guys can be used to plug the gaps, as well as the raw spearmen. So we want to move, we want to push these, um, push these, the infantry line to here, 
and then have the archers on the top of these mountains here so they can shoot over crossbows we'll try to get these guys into here you know what we're probably going to need some more infantry to back them up now that i think of it so let's take yes oh yeah that's the crossbow yeah, here's the raw spearman. Yeah, move the raw spearman here. Send some raw spearmen to help you out to extend the line maybe a little bit. Seems to me like we're going to need more, more troops in that vicinity. Go ahead and link those guys. Yeah, this is a big battle. That's why I'm taking taking my time setting this up. There's a lot riding on this battle. It's one of the bigger ones. All right, I think we're set. Let's uh, begin the battle. Ooh, there's there's the enemy there. What do we? What does, what does the enemy force consist of? Now that's just sergeants. That's not knights and sergeants. That's just sergeants. That's knights and sergeants. That's a subgeneral. That's King Stephen right there. He's way in the back, coward that he is. And then I got a whole line of raw spearmen uh, on the second line. We had dismounted knights and sergeants here, armored spearmen, a few light archers over there, Welsh in the middle, and then spearmen, and light archers over there. All right, I think we probably outclass him, and if we get there's nothing, um, nothing. Maybe we take the hill with the with our own cavalry, and we can begin to maybe charge him on the left flank. All right, let's push these guys up. Probably scatter that guy. See if we can get our crossbowmen in position. Yeah, I'm pinning. I'm pinning a lot of hopes in these crossbowmen. Uh, yeah, we better move these one at a time. So I'm doing a lot of fancy stuff here. Take the hill. Let's move this archer to here.
we'll move these guys to the other side of the rough patch. Okay, let's move Henry up to the top of the hill here so we can get a nice view of things. Spears. Looks like they're going to have uh, more battle. Looks like their weight ar their uh, army thrust is weighted to come here. So we'll move the move them up here as a backup. All right, looking good. Yeah, there's not much going on in this flank. I guess he doesn't want to go up up this steep slope. Might send some raw spearmen up there, we'll see. And he's got, oh yeah, there's another knight here. I didn't even see that one. So the big question is going to be, what am I going to do with, with my left flank knight force? What am I going to do? Am I going to take this hill? Am I just going to hold back? What am I going to do? I guess a lot depends on what he does, so we'll see. Anyway, end turn. Oh, oh, he had he had some units behind the crest of the hill. I didn't even see. Oops. Okay, well that um, that simplifies things, I guess you could say. Okay, his knights have, are sort making their sortie. Unfortunately, my crossbowmen are not in position yet to meet them. Oh God, he's got archers up there too. Shh. Yeah, they were hiding behind the hill. We they we did not have vision on them. I thought that hill was going to be unoccupied. Ours for the taking, but it was not the case. Yeah, it's a pretty steep hill, too. So it'll be interesting to see if my cavalry can even see what they can do about that. In the meantime, he's got some archers that can just shoot, on, shoot arrows at me. Yeah, hmm. Okay, so his uh, his right flank was a little longer than I thought. Long story short. These guys are, these guys are just out of charge range. Alright, first things first. Let's, um, let's try to whittle down those archers of his. nice now the, the interesting thing you got to remember about field of glory is in is that you can only cause one morale drop a turn from uh, archery fire so the fact that we've got this guy to drop to disrupt at this turn means if i shoot at him again it isn't going to do anything except you know kill kill uh soldiers it might be better to take this other archer unit and then shoot it, shoot over here, and maybe get a morale drop on him. So I think, oh shit! Why can't I shoot at him? That's strange. Why can't I shoot at him? That's peculiar. I can shoot at them, but not over there. That's weird. No line of sight. Oh, all right. I see. Okay. I have to go one more forward. Now I can see him. Hmm. I don't know if I'm a real big fan of taking this hill because I've, I can't just send the cavalry up there. If I just send the cavalry charging onto the hill, 
He's got some spearmen that can come in and maybe flank me, and he's got a knight that can flank me. While well, I'm tied up on, 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 with these units on the hill. So I don't know if doing an unsupported knight charge there is the greatest idea. I could move these guys up to help out. But then they'd be attacking up the hill too. I don't know. I got a turn to think about it though. Let's just move up to our regularly planned positions. Yeah, this is where we were intending to build the line anyway. Ooh, he's got a hill there. Am I going to give him that hill in the middle? I don't know. Go ahead and send the cavalry in the general direction of this this light archer. I'll kind of, I'll at least faint uh, doing a cavalry charge on this flank. Whether I will actually end up doing it is another question. But I can at least pretend like I'm going to, and see if see what he does about it. of the crossbows. I can take a long range shot. Or I can wait. I think I'll wait. want to get into charge range quite yet. I'm thinking if I can get him to charge here, then maybe I can set up some flanks. We'll see. Something like that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. And in the meantime, the crossbows, while he's thinking about what to do about these guys, the crossbows will be chewing him up. That's kind of my thoughts. and an extra cavalry unit over here. And... Henry's gonna just go over here and watch watch things develop. Alright, let's see what they do. I'm kind of curious to see what these guys are gonna do. He's advancing. We have a pretty strong position on this slope. Maybe we just stay back here and defend the slope. Since he seems he seems intent on moving up, then I'm just gonna Yeah, I'm just gonna defend this high ground then. Setting up to charge, which is interesting. Okay. All right. Let me get my. 
crossbows ready. Yeah, this guy is, doesn't have... We have to move this guy up. I want to get a completely fresh shot on this one guy. All right, big follow from Runyon. Runyon 99. Thank you, Runyon. Much appreciated. Hmm, looks like we have a. Looks like we can win that one. Uh, can we actually win that one too? Yeah, we would have the advantage on both of these. The problem is we won't be able to... Yeah, the thing is, if we do that, we won't be able to shoot them with the crossbows, which is was my whole plan. My plan will be ruined if, if we get into melee right now. going to just hold off and then next turn we're going to just crossbow him to death. We're almost in position to do that. Meanwhile we have some spearmen coming up and there's some dismounted knights. Oh well, yeah this is not too good. We should be able to hold the line here, though. Back it up at that night. <laughs> Grog's finest is at the bottom of this hill going, oh shit, why do we have to be here? No. Now, we should be able to shoot overhead with the archers. Yes, good. That's what I was hoping we'd be able to do. Ooh, boy, good casualties on the raw spearmen. Yeah, let's chew up these raw spearmen. All right, here's our own archers. spearmen are in the way. I want to shoot these archers again, but these guys are in the way. Mm, I, can shoot it, I can turn and shoot his knights, though. Uh, I'll just shoot the raw spearmen for 6 to 22. 18's not bad. What am I going to do with my cavalry? I don't think I want to charge up this hill. I think that's a bad idea. So I think what we're actually going to do is back up believe it or not. And this is where we're going to try to hold them. I think what might might happen is these knights might get charged by his sub-general. 
He'll, he'll charge these guys, my light archers will run away, and then the charge will hit these guys. So that could be a possible happening here. So what I'm going to do is move this guy to here to set up a potential flank if that happens next turn. Right, so if this guy goes here, we were able to flank him next turn. way too. Yeah. Alright. I think that's good. Oh, and then these guys. This is an area where I think we're going to have some problems. Uh, especially if he comes charging down with his wells from the hill. That could be a problem. I've got Henry here to kind of help out. Let's send some more spearmen as well. Okay. Looks good. End turn. Oh, shoot. His archers rallied. That's unfortunate. My archers run away. He comes charging into the flank of my cavalry. Oh, boy, he's got a height advantage, too. He was greatly disadvantaged, though, but it was still indecisive. So it looks like my knights are in combat. I didn't really want that, but there it is. These guys are moving up. He definitely wants to charge. He wants to go after my main line. Yeah, I didn't really want a cavalry engagement here yet. That's not what the plan was. Oh shit, there's too much arrow fire over here. And I got no way to deal with these guys. Yeah, my raw spearman's not feeling too happy right now. I might have to take my knights here to dis and scatter these guys. Ah, okay, so these guys, we have a Mexican standoff over here, exactly as I thought we might. However, we have crossbows. Six to 18 on knights, that is, oh, <laughs> there goes one figure. Uh, turn and shoot for 4 to 16, or I guess it's I guess it's 4 to 16 either way. Okay, 4 to 16 then. Let's see if I can get this guy to disrupt. There we go. Oh my goodness. Question: Do we charge? We certainly could. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, the problem with charging is uh, we'll probably. If he breaks and runs, then we'll probably pursue. So I have to ask myself, do I want my knights over here? Because that's where they're going to end up if I if he runs. That might be okay. It might be okay. I mean, what what's he got over here? Just dismounted knights. Yeah, we'll be able to hit him in the flank if we're over there. Shoot. Charge! <laughs> Charge! He's fragmented. Charge! There he goes. And we're off to the races. <laughs> okay. Well, we didn't go that far, so I think we're okay. Like, it's not like this guy can do anything. Matter of fact, I can attack him right now. I might as well attack him because my crossbows can't see him any anymore, so... And we're going to have a long-term edge on this. So it's going to be commander versus commander here. That's a, that's a draw. That's fine. Yeah, we have actually... A, we're going to have a slight edge in this in this battle. So I'm happy with that. In the meantime, these crossbowmen can just go up here and start shooting at his dismounted knights. Okay, so that went pretty well. This makes me sad, though. I have to... Yeah. 
Yeah, we have to do something about those archers. Also, he's got raw spearmen that are overlapping my flank. That's why th this guy being disrupted is not good. Actually, we actually have a long-term edge here. What is this guy? Oh, he's just a regular spearman. I can't believe my raw spearman is that good, but apparently he is. Hmm. Yeah, just do that. Get some knights and sergeants moving up. Yeah, let's turn the crossbowmen on the knights and dismounted knights and sergeants next turn. And hopefully whittle them down a bit. Now, what are we going to do here? Uh, we could just charge these guys. I guess it's not a bad idea. turn this way because if these guys break these guys need to save the situation it's like I'm pinned there I can't change my facing Too well. Who are those guys? Regular spearmen. Yeah, the Welsh are going to be a problem because they're going to do an in, they're going to do an, a nasty impact to begin things. Ooh, dismounted knights and sergeants there. That's dangerous. Actually, we got the edge on those guys. Shit. Oh, that's because it's dismounted knights versus dismounted knights. Okay. So that's actually an even battle, and I have a commander. That's about even. That's an edge for me because of the hill. That is also an edge for the hill, but I don't want to attack. I want to keep shooting with my archers. Yeah. Yeah, let's keep beating up on this raw spearman here. On the fl He's starting to take morale checks. Let's give him some more arrows, shall we? Ah, the beauty of being on a hill. here. Oh, that's not good. That's bad. That's bad. It's really unfortunate that we got caught on the slope like that. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. I'm tempted to send my Welsh over there to try to save the situation, but then the Welsh will be caught on the slope. these archers some more. And go 4 to 14. Or, yeah, shoot the archers. There you go. Disrupted them for the second time this game. Oh, this is too bad. This is too, That's a raw spearman too. That sucks. This guy can't move. I could. I was thinking moving this guy up to flank, but he can't. He's pinned by that guy. Maybe what we do is we charge this guy. This guy can move to here, set up a flank. 
The only problem is, yeah, no, then this guy just comes over here and pins me. Yeah, in fact, he'll end up catching me on the slope. That's a bad idea. I think it's best just to real, just write this knight off. I hate to do it, but it looks like he's got me. I don't think I can weasel my way out of this. Yeah, it's un it's unfortunate he was on that slope in the first place, but oh well. Just the way the cookie crumbles. Let's just take our medicine. We held for... Oh, yay! He fell back! <laughs> you, oh, congratulations. Oh, you did the right thing. You did the right thing, uh, Knights and Sergeant number two. Totally did the right thing. Magnificent move. Oh. Uh, okay, well, unfortunately, we're still going to get high grounded by these stupid spearmen. Yeah, there's no way to do it. I, I, sh I need to back up even more is what I need to do. I could move you to there. Yeah, we need to get away from this slope. Even though I show my back to the enemy, it must be done. We can't... Yeah, and this guy... We need to move away from the slope next turn. We can... If he doesn't pin me, we can back up. Yeah, the idea here is not to bring on a general... The, the idea here is not to attack the hill. The idea here is to attack them in, in this valley, not to charge up the hill. He's got too many guys to deal with. Boy, that's going to be bad, isn't it? That's his commander, that's why. But, what I could do... Let's transfer the uh, command... Or let's, uh, here's my current commander. Let's transfer him to here. And now... It's still bad, but it's not as bad as it could be. I'm just going to move here because I want to get off the, the negative slope. It's tempting to charge these guys, but then I'll probably end up charging right up the hill, which is bad. Of course, I could charge up the hill and charge into these wobbly archers. That wouldn't be terrible. Let's do it. <laughs> That's exactly what happened, and they broke. Okay, you can stop now. That's fine, you can stop. Oh, you fragmented those guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's good. Uh, hopefully, if you can stop pursuing and come back, that would be great, because we don't want to get entangled with all these raw spearmen, although you did manage to fragment that one. That was brilliant. That was absolutely beautiful. Right, and then this guy is going to watch this guy. We are really terrible against this guy. Oh, these are just sergeants. That's why. These are not knights and sergeants. These are just sergeants. Ooh, that explains why the odds were so crappy. Okay, well, then these guys are in a bit of a bit of a pickle. Because, <laughs> oh, yeah, I see. Those aren't... Those are just sergeants. i got to remember the difference. If they have the black and... The red and white flag, they're just sergeants. Yeah, the knights have the multicolored stuff going on. Well, this could be bad. Um, we're going to get charged here probably, and it's not going to be too good. Uh, hopefully we can flank this guy, though, and save him. So, yeah, a lot of shenanigans going over here on the left flank. A lot of shenanigans. All right, back to here. The only thing I'm debating is this charge here, because we have a really good advantage here. Yeah, let's do it. 
indecisive, but we have a we have an edge. Okay, in turn. The guy routes back into the castle. Those guys charge over there. That is going to be a problem. Get pushed back, fragmented. Well, here come his attack off the hill. He was slightly advantaged, but we managed to hold him. Indecisive, roughly equal. Okay, good job. Oh, that's, I think, a commander. Oh, no, but we held firm. Greatly advantaged, but we managed to hold on, hold on there. Yeah, it's the center here is where I'm most worried. And there's that charge I was worried about. Yeah, we held firm, though. Good job, sergeants. Chase my archer. Oh, oh, they caught the archers on the slope. They're not going to be happy about that. And then he charges them and they break. Oh, that's too bad. Ah, held firm. But we pushed him back. Oh, that's not necessarily a good thing. Meanwhile, this little meat grinder continues. See if I can save my sergeants. Are you still pursuing? No, you're not. Good. Oh, but it's so tempting to charge these, <laughs> charge these guys and make them flee. It's so tempting. Oh, can I resist the temptation? It's not like he's got anything on the hill. These guys would have to spend an entire turn to turn around to deal with me. So maybe we just stay on this hill and cause havoc. Yeah, you need to go over here. We can charge in. Oh, it's not going to be good, though. Oh, this is, this, this is a difficult, difficult decision. I think turning this guy... Yeah, I can't even turn or turn this guy around because of the zone of control here. I have to charge these guys. I basically don't have a choice. And they break and run. And then I pursue them. And I charge into that raw spear formation. And we also win and disrupt them. So actually, we're kicking ass on this hill. <laughs> we're doing better than I thought we would ever would. And we've sent many many raw spearmen flying unfortunately here's he's got a key he's got his king steven here that could probably run up the hill to save the situation now over here yeah that's a problem uh, i need to get you back off the slope because we saw what happened the last time you were on a slope actually let me move you way back See, we get a charge advantage, but then the melee phase, we get creamed because of the hill. If I'm going to save this guy, I need to send in real knights and sergeants. Which means we're going to be disadvantaged for a little while. Just got to hope for you some indecisive results for a while. Now, this guy needs to start... Yeah, we need to start moving this guy around for a flank. It's going to take some time, unfortunately. I hate to say it. Uh, this guy just flip around. Boy, 
this guy's just gone bonkers here. He's just, he's just causing, look at all the people he's routed. Let's continue to destroy this raw spearman with archery. Okay, that's a disrupt. Let's switch targets to this guy, the armored spearman. Firm, but we're winning. Let's see what's going on over here. That's a pretty much a draw. This is not looking too good, though. Yeah, we're gonna lose that one. Let me think about that attack. I'm surprised he didn't attack with his Welsh. I'm a, frankly a little surprised. If I do this attack, there's a chance we might get pushed back. If I move this guy to here, and we get pushed back, we're set up to do a flank on this guy. So that's not a terrible move. Yeah, let's do that. So that'll set up a potential flank. We need to get this guy out of the way so he can fall back. So move you to here. Right, so hopefully what happens is this guy gets pushed back and then next turn I can flank. I can, it's a little bit of a long shot, but we can dream, you know. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, we are pushed back. Okay, this might actually happen. But here's the thing, we need to survive <laughs> the next attack. If we survive the next attack, then one of these two are going to flank this guy. And wouldn't that be nice, huh? Meanwhile, over here, what's this? Ugh, that's not great. That's not great. Who's this? Oh god, I'm sub-general. Well, we got his general here trapped. Let's go ahead and continue to grind him up here. Indecisive. Come on, guys. Let's get a win. Indecisive. Oh, these are actually sergeants. Oh, oh those are knights and sergeants. Those are knights and sergeants. These are knights and sergeants. Okay. Oh, yeah. The crossbows. We're going to turn these guys around. Take him for two to eight by turning around, but I think I'm just going to turn around, turn around. I want to save our precious ammunition. Wait until we're within range. We can actually also shoot. We could actually shoot at these spearmen too. That'd be totally fine. All right. So my raw spearmen are facing down his knights. That's not ideal. Maybe we take this raw spearman over here because it looks like we're kind of getting overlapped on this flank, and this guy is about to break. Which is why I'm thinking a charge here might be necessary. Yeah, because if I don't, then this guy's gonna get charged and he'll break. Uh oh. Uh oh. Spaghettio. He didn't, uh, he held on. We bounced off him. So that's not great. If I fall back with him, he'll probably break. He'll undoubtedly break. So, yeah, might as well just hold position. 
How's this doing? This is about an even, even Steven battle. Indecisive. Good. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys engaged. These guys could charge here if need be. Where we had a big advantage. Yeah, let's do that. Uh-oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> sometimes that happens. Yeah, sometimes. But at least we didn't fragment or anything. Way. Again, we're we're waiting for the breakthrough so we can get a flank. Uh, this bad battle. Yep, indecisive. Good. Okay, things are going okay. Is there anything left to move? Let me see. Yeah, this guy. That's guy. Okay. That's fine. And then that guy is staring at death. This guy is. This guy could charge right now, but I, I kind of want to shoot crossbows at him, maybe. So let's not do that. And then, oh yeah, we could charge down the hill. Let's think about that. Hmm? Why not? Let's charge down the hill. There we go. Amazingly, he held on. Now I still have these two. Uh, these two are we're waiting for these guys to come down off their mighty perch. So that's what these guys are doing. And then next turn the archers can shoot at that armored spearman. Should be nice. Oh, poor little guy. I'm gonna try to retreat him. I think it's better that he route on his own rather than me ha him being a target and then becoming a problem over here because then yeah let's just let's just fall back and see if hopefully he'll survive his cohesion test he doesn't yeah it's probably better to do it that way rather than have the enemy do it because then the enemy could end up in a really bad place on the pursuit and I think that's it yeah I mean I could yeah we don't want to do that don't want to do that. Oh yeah, this guy, this guy. I almost forgot about this guy. What to do with this guy? Let's go here. So we're setting up a, f a flank attack on this guy if this guy attacks my... Although it, this guy will probably block him. But, but at least we're setting it up. Okay, enter. Okay, that's good. That's good. Oh, they charged over there. That's... Oh! Morale check, but we held firm. That's unfortunate, because I was hoping to shoot arrows at him next turn. Yeah, well, should have attacked, but they... Ooh, they got bounced back. That's very unusual. I would have thought... Oh, it's Grog's Finest. Well, of course, that's why... That's why we won. That's why we won. It was Grog's Finest take any guff from these Welsh. That's a slightly disadvantaged, indecisive result. He's bringing up more of his raw spearmen. There's that charge I was worried about. But, oh, we massively advantaged our raw spearmen, but we hurl him back despite the advantage. Uh-oh, here comes some more knights. Oh, okay, yeah, this was what I was afraid of. Uh, that is was King Stephen himself. I say I use the word king loosely here. Because he's obviously a pretender. Um, yeah, and basically threw back our knights from the hilltop. Oh, shit, more archers. Those archers are being very mean to me. Yeah. 
and it shows too. It just caused another raw spearman to break. It's a good thing we don't have any more raw spearmen over there. Otherwise, we might have had a chain panic. Uh oh, more people coming out of the uh, castle. Okay, this is an interesting. Oh, we held firm. Okay, good. So we're gonna get a flank attack on those guys. Oh, we held firm. Good. And oh, we held firm there too. And that was good. That was good. That's good. Ah, gotta disrupt on them. They get pushed back in disarray. Meanwhile, this continues to grind on over here. We just need to get... Oh, there you got a morale check, but he held firm. He's running out of troops, though. His battle standard's looking a little ragged. That's an indecisive... That is an auto break. All right, so we got rid of those raw spearmen there. All right, turn seven. Okay, let's move this guy uh, out of the way by moving him up and have him shoot at those spearmen. We need to get you around for a flank shot. I don't know if we all have time to pull this off, but we'll try. <laughs> Tempting to just turn this guy around for the flank shot, but unfortunately we'll be charged in the rear by King Steven. So that's actually not really an option. Um, that's an interesting one. Can charge those disrupted spearmen. I don't see a way to do this where I don't get sh charged in the rear by King Steven. So I'm not sure what to do. I think... Let's see what these battles generate here. It's an even. Oh, morale check, but he holds. Here's the sergeants. Oh no, our general... F no, that's my general! Oh, no. Odo. Odo trying to save those sergeants fell in the line of battle. Oh, no. Our archers disrupted. Oh, that's a terrible result. That's absolutely disastrous. What are we going to do? Things are not looking too good over here on this flank. Be honest, things are looking a little dicey with the cavalry attack. I think with these guys, we have to, we have two choices basically. We can charge the raw spearmen, or we can just go here and sit and wait, and then get charged by King Stephen, but at least we won't be on a slope. I mean, oh, wait a minute, which, which way is this guy facing? Oh, this guy turned this way. So if I charge these guys, then these guys can flank me. It won't be a terrible flank, but it'll actually... I'll have to go in the rough ground to do it. Yeah, it's not. It's it's a flank, but it's not a flank I really have to worry about, because it's an infantry versus cavalry flank. On the other hand, he's got these guys turned around, ready to come back up. Yeah, maybe the best thing to do is. Oh shit! There really isn't a good choice here, is there? Yeah, there really isn't one. 
What's my odds of a win? We have a decent chance of getting this guy to break. He is a raw spearman. Maybe what happens is we attack him. Uh, we disrupt him. He just he flees, and then we pursue it over here. <laughs> it's, and maybe that'll be okay because these guys are all facing the wrong way. I mean, it's a. Oh, he only fragmented. He didn't break. So, uh, yeah, King Stephen's gonna attack him again. It'll probably end up being like what happened last time. He'll, yeah, or something like that. Okay, well, now let's. We got our archers here. We might as well shoot at these guys over here. Dead raw spearmen. Got a slight edge here. Oh, we held firm. Let's set up a flank. So, unless he does something, we'll flank him on that front next turn. Actually, let's do the big flank we've been waiting for. Alright. That's one of his leaders. That's Reynolf. Reynolf the Eagle. De, de la Eagle. I don't know my French. I'm guessing it means Eagle. <laughs> Eagle. Now well, we can go charging in with these Ross. Well, maybe not. <laughs> oh, we're gonna lose that 33%. Maybe we do go charging in and just try not to lose. Oh, oh ah, no, we lost. But at least this is down an 8% loss. Was it 30? That became indecisive. Yeah, meanwhile, I got Henry up here on the hill watching the battle serenely. Saying, eh, nothing to worry about. There's a raw spearman on a hill slope. We actually have an edge. Decisive. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's not great. I can charge these guys. Indecisive. Okay. Indecisive. That's good. Better than expected. That we here we have an edge. Yeah, this is us versus his raw spearmen in here. Not so good. Let me think what we can do about that. Oh, I could come over here with a charge. Yeah, he's got too many guys over here. Uh, we kind of need to plug some gaps over here and since a couple of our guys ran away. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if we can finally finish this guy off. Oh, he's fighting till the death. Damn him! He's tying down two of our knights with these shenanigans. How many people does he have left? Sixty-nine. Yeah. Once he gets below fifty percent, then it becomes you're entering auto break territory. But this guy hasn't failed a morale check yet. That's annoying. That's really annoying. move up and start chewing up these spearmen. Okay. Unfortunately, 
Hercules got more spearmen coming out across the drawbridge here. Yeah, yeah, long term, that's not a good fight. Yeah, I don't see any reason to charge here if, I, if he's gonna. It gives my crossbowmen something to do if I'm not engaged there. Oh, this guy could come careening into me here. He's, yeah, he's got sergeants here. He's got knights and sergeants here. Yeah, we need some more troops on the right flank. Let's get these guys over. And I'm thinking of sending Henry over there, too. Yeah, I was hoping this would get finished and we could get these guys all redeployed, but... It's not happening. He's good. This Hildebert, Hilbert is f holding me up too much. That's decisive. Yeah, I think we got this. I think we got this breakthrough kind of, kind of contained. I'm gonna go ahead and s move Henry over there. to uh, fill that gap. And I think if I turn and face this way, this guy can't get charged by these guys, by the sergeants. Because I'm covering that hex in that way that protects the flank. attack these retreating spearmen. The idea being to uh, pursue them and then get up the hill that way. I'm going to move to here. So we're set up to uh, charge these guys if they continue to show their backs to me. That's not going to be a great attack. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to attack these guys with the idea of me hopefully pursuing up the hill, and then that's going to cause a problem with these guys. Okay, well, we didn't pursue, sadly. Which I guess is not surprising. They're only foot, foot units. But now that we're down here, that's going to force these guys to turn around and meet them. Cucumber with the 100 bits. Thank you so much, Lord Cucumber. Much appreciated. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's interesting. The the pretender King Stephen charged me, but actually did not win. He got indecisive. Oh shit! Too many archers. Stop it with the stop it with those bow things. Alright, so that's gonna go there. These guys are coming against my cavalry. Ouch, 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 but we held firm. Those were our sergeants. The indecisive along the line. Now this guy, I'm hoping that we can get this this guy, this breakthrough to break. Oh no, but we held firm, but we're pushed back. Oh no. Okay, okay. Hey, there, hey, he falls back there. 
Or winning the battle on the left. Grog's, Grog's finest getting an indecisive versus some spearmen. Indecisive there. Uh-oh. Oh, we, that was a battle we did not want to lose. Okay, this we want to continue to fight these dismounted knights and sergeants in the little pocket here. Hey, we fragmented over there. Okay, come on. Come on, I gotta kill that guy. Oh, we pushed him back there. Uh-oh, but we're getting a little... Uh... Oh, there we go. Disrupted, and we killed his general. And then he fragmented. All right, so we're one general apiece so far in this battle. Oh, and that guy held firm. That's too bad. Hey, one of our guys rallied. Yeah, I'm trying to uh, defeat Rainolf here. Rainolf had a small breakthrough, but we're, we're containing it. This continues to be critical over here. We're trying to set up a flank, but it's taking a while. Because these knights are not exactly maneuverable. Yeah, see, next turn I can turn, and then the turn after that I can do a flank attack. Yeah, so now I got these I got these spearmen to turn back around. I was I wanted to distract them from interfering in this battle. And this battle. So that little ploy work. Although now we have to worry about them charging down the hill and getting a huge height advantage on us. Uh, let's resolve this thing here. I want to get these guys to flee. Yes. So now it's just me and King... King... I put King in quotation marks, Steven. Wouldn't it be nice if I would, were, were to kill King Steven? That would make this campaign so much easier. Oh, no, we held firm. Okay, we got to try to... Try to hold firm here, too. There you go. Take some arrows. Ooh, we got a win. And we disrupted him. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like we're at, we, may, we might be out of the woods here. That was a critical disruption. Oh, a fragment, and he falls back. Oh, yeah, these sergeants were in big trouble, but we, we might have saved the day, although it did cost Odo his life, the commander. We... We sent there. So Odo is a hero, though. Odo's an absolute smashing hero. Now here we got this flank attack. We've been we lined up. Boy, that was disappointing. We did disrupt them, though. Unfortunately, these guys got disrupted last turn, so this is not as amazing as I was hoping for. Okay, I have these archers shoot over on these guys. These armored spearmen. Looks like we're out of arrows, unfortunately. But every, every dead spearman counts, I guess. Yeah, looks like uh, Guillaume, our subgeneral, has done well, perhaps too well. <laughs> He has gotten himself... Oh, God, he's about to be flanked. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's... Um, he's... Done too well, to be to put it exact. He's pushed so far ahead, he's about to get flanked by at least one unit and then get meleeed by two more raw spearmen. William the Con no, William the Conqueror is dead. This is we're about uh, two hundred. We're about a hundred years beyond uh, William the Conqueror. We're actually we're actually uh, we're actually Henry Fitz, Fitz Empress, who would actually be the great grandson, if my genealogy is correct, of William. And then we also have Stephen, who is like uh, his nephew, grand-nephew, or something like that. Something like that. It's confusing. 
Yes, pretenders even exactly, because we are fighting for we are fighting for for the queen here, for the em queen empress. Okay, here's what we're gonna do because these guys are gonna flank me next turn, which is bad. We can actually prevent the flank, believe it or not, by oh, but here's the problem. We can prevent the flank, but he can prevent the prevent of the flank. Like, I could go here. I'm facing him. That keeps him from charging down and flanking. But he could then use these guys to attack me in the flank and then break my zone of control concentration. So that might not work. Does the game contain the Norman Conquest campaign or Battle of Hastings only? Right now, currently, it only has a Battle of Hastings. There isn't... I, there isn't a, a Norman Conquest campaign, although I can certainly easily see one being added later, either by modders or by the designers. Because keep in mind, this game doesn't come out until February 4th, so they still have they still have some they still have some uh, time left for development. I wouldn't be surprised to see more scenarios and more campaigns, because right now the game is rock solid code wise. I mean, there's no bugs or graphic issues or anything the game's in, in spectacularly good shape so i wouldn't be surprised if they'd use the remaining month to add more content wouldn't surprise me at all i mean that's a natural fit i mean uh, this is a perfect period for a for a conquest campaign so if, even if the designer doesn't do it i'm sure a modder will one of the because you know this is this is a game that has its own scenario designer let's go ahead and attack here see what happens Ugh. Indecisive. Um, yeah, Hundred Years Wars. That's just outside the time period uh, of this of of this particular version. Although I'm sure that's going to be a DLC for sure, extending the time period to the late medieval. Because oh boy, this would be great. This would be wonderful for uh, Hundred Year War battles. As a matter of fact, they do have a campaign, and the can matter of fact, the campaign we're playing right now, the Angevin campaign, uh, I've played a few of the scenarios already, and I can tell you, spoiler alert, we're going to get Welsh crossbowmen. We're going to be running up against Welsh crossbowmen soon. And, of course, those are the precursors to the Agincourt crossbowmen. And they are quite nasty. I can avow, avow to that. Anyway, let's go ahead and see if I can break this guy. I have enough people. Indecisive. Indecisive. And indecisive. Well, we're whittling him down slowly. Now, we still have this problem here. I'm going to get flanked. I don't think there's a way to prevent it. Uh, I could send this guy to here to prevent it, but then he could prevent the prevention by attacking me. I think we might be screwed here, honestly, which means we're going to get flanked. And it's going to be bad. Okay, he'll, be, he'll be coming off the hill with raw spearmen. It's not going to be pleasant. I'm not going to be happy about that. You know what I could do is I could try... If I move here, and he attacks me in the flank as predicted, but then he bounces off, then we're fine. So there's a small, 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 small chance we'll be okay. Yeah, although I wouldn't bet the farm on it. But we'll see what we can do. Yeah, I'm, what I predict is going to happen. This guy's going to attack here, and then this guy's going to flank here. So the only way that I... Yeah, I just have to hope for a bounce. If I can, if I can get a bounce, we'll be okay-ish. Anyway, let's continue the slaughter over here. Yeah, hold off on that one. Let's do this one first. Held firm. Yeah, these spearmen are looking a little ragged. Mm. 
can't charge these guys because of these guys. But if I charge these guys and don't bounce, then these guys can maybe break those guys. It could happen. It's crazy, but stranger things have happened. Indecisive. So first part of the plan is going well. Now we charge here. And he breaks and flees. Does that cause panic along the, along the rest of the line? And yes, this guy disrupted, but this guy did not. So at least we got a disruption here, which is good. I need to speed you along the road here. Steven, uh, or Henry, excuse me. Henry needs to come down here and deal with this situation, which is looking a little grim. Might as well get this attack over with. Come on. Oh, good job, stalemate. Okay, okay, okay. Now, um, back to here, though. Uh, what are we going to do here? I think what we're going to do is we're actually going to withdraw. Because I don't want to get char I don't want to get charged down the hill. So I'll go ahead and risk the cohesion check on this. Because I don't want to get charged there. So let's do that. And same thing with this cavalry. Let's move you back a little bit. Campaign of the game has something random or procedural, or is everything as a preset? It's a little bit random. There are like branching choices you can make, but they're somewhat limited. So yeah, and as a matter of fact, I think winning and losing doesn't really. Well, yeah. If you here's the here's the way the campaign works. If you lose a battle, generally speaking, they make you replay it. They'll say, oh, um, you have an option to re, you know, to send another force to the battle and they kind of make you fight the same battle over that's kind of how the campaign works and there are some branching choice choices to it and there's a, some preservation of forces from the previous battles to help you out so there's a little bit of that anyway i'm going to drop back with the cavalry because i don't want to get attacked on the slope so that takes it takes care of the left flank. Let's go over to the right flank where things are a little bit more interesting. Right, we need to finish you off, you little putts. Thank you, finally. Uh, crossbow time. Do 6 to 24 there or 4 to 16 on the. You know what? I'm just going to destroy these spearmen. Jesus. 8 to 26. Yeah, this, these crossbowmen are having a field day. Okay, so I got sergeants and knights and sergeants versus my knights and sergeants. Although the king is rushing over to help. Although these bowmen are just a, such an annoyance. We'll have to try to scatter these bowmen. But I kind of, I sort of kind of have run out of troops. Now this helps freeing up these two knights. I wonder if I should charge here. No, that's a terrible idea. I wonder if I should charge here. That's a mediocre idea. Yeah, let's just go ahead and wait. I don't mind just having a standoff here because during the standoff, these crossbowmen are just chewing them up. So as far as standoffs go, that's fine. I could fall back here. Although we have a problem... Can you, yeah, you need to turn. Yeah, I need to get rid of these archers. Uh, they're causing some cash, unfortunate casualties. I don't think I should drop back. If I do, he's gonna hit these guys in the flank. That would be great. I think 
they should turn to face them. Right, don't worry. Henry's on the way. Henry's on the way, boys. Help is on the way. Can you not charge the archers with the spears next to his majesty? I think I already moved them, did I? didn't I? Yeah, they've already moved. But that's uh, that's definitely on the on the menu for next turn. Yeah, in fact, I think that's a winning move for next turn. Have I moved everybody? Oh, yes, we have you. And who else? Nope, you're the only one who hasn't moved. Okay, great. This has been a very busy active turn. Let's see what the enemy does in response. A lot of running. Uh, somebody rallied. That's not good. Oh, that's a dispersal. That's good. Uh, charge off the... Oh, that's interesting. He didn't flank. He charged off the hill with the raw spearmen. Okay, so I, we at least we we didn't get that flank. Okay, that's a flank. <laughs> that's a flank on those guys. But they held firm even though they're not in great shape. These spearmen charge off their hill. Here comes some more spearmen charging. He's trying to save his friends over there. Okay, here's the charge with the knights. That's an indecisive. Oh, we caught the morale check. He bounces off there. Good job. Archers. Archers. Hate archers. Oh, looks like they're running out of arrows, though, finally. Oh, you're Portuguese. Yeah, my my uh, my family, my mother's family is from the Azores. So. Oh no, a fragment. No, stop! No, no, no! You must win. Oh, this guy rallied. That's the problem. Shoot, three to one, and he rallied. Okay, more indecisive along the line. Oh, another he held firm there. Oh, this is a this is a hell of a fight. This could go either way depending on who chain panics first. Alright, turn nine. Turn nine of this epic fight. Right, okay, so these knights are just on the verge of, of panicking, so we're going to try to scatter them. Too bad that guy's out of arrows. Right, I'll charge the archers and then charge into his wavering knights. Oh, he held firm, what a bastard. That's okay. We'll charge him again. Oh shit, we don't have that great a chance, do we? <laughs> it's because he's on a slope, that's why. Damn it. Alright, hopefully we'll get him next turn. He just needs a little bit of encouragement and he'll break. Yeah, that's terrible because he's on the high ground. But we can shoot him with archers. Absolutely rip him to shreds with archers. In fact, he's the only target we can target, pretty much. Ugh, rip him to shreds, as I say, as they do three damage. Unfortunately, we're out of arrows. So while we were doing great damage earlier, not so much now. Yeah, now we're just kind of lobbing apples at him. Can you beat these guys? Yes! No. Held's firm. 17%. Indecisive. We're whittling him down. Uh-oh, okay, this is bad. Indecisive, good. That's a win for us. 
This guy rallied here. Oh my god, we're being swarmed. And this guy managed to rally. He's got so many raw spearmen. And this guy rallied too. Can you believe it? He actually rallied. And now these guys are on the verge of death. Love bananas instead. Yeah, what's the difference between a uh, yellow and red number? A yellow number is an indecisive battle result. A red number is a is a win battle result. It not only causes the num numerical casualties, but it causes the enemy unit to take a morale check. And the morale check could go... If he fails, he goes down to disrupted state, which is yellow. If a yellow unit gets a, fails another morale check, then he becomes fragmented. And if a fragmented guy breaks, then he he literally breaks. He runs runs away. So that's why it's really bad to have guys that are in the red, because he's these guys are literally about to flee. And that's the interesting thing about this game. Turn order of how you do your battles is important, because you want to you want to see if you can get the get the the, the the combats that will cause the enemy to break, you get, want to get those done first because those might cause uh, chain, uh, other units to panic down the road. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't believe these guys rallied. Yeah, so we indecisive there. Indecisive there. Oh, this guy's about to break. I don't think I can save him. This brave raw spearman. Now, over here, I was so disappointed in this battle. Oh, we got a morale check. See, that was red. He took a morale check, but enemy unit held firm. So we're trying to get these guys to break, but it's it's hard, especially when they have a commander. He, see, he did it again. This guy has a commander with them, and that's why he's... Passing all his morale checks. Now this is going to be a bad attack for us, but we can't avoid it. And there you go, they broke and ran. And then these guys do do morale checks. Fortunately, they held up. This is going to be another disaster. And there you go, he breaks. That's terrible for us. Really, really a shame. And now uh, my commander Giliam here is surrounded by spearmen and is about to get flanked again. And there was no way to save him now. No way. <laughs> anyway, let's do this battle. We might win this one. Oh, he held firm. How about this one? Oh, that's not good. How about this one? Decisive. Oh, our unit held firm, though. Oh, yeah, this this up, up here. This is versus uh, Steven here. Unfortunately, he's got us out. Oh, we managed an indecisive draw. Good. So we got King Stephen pinned down. The dream here is we beat these guys, and then we go beat up on King Stephen with, with our knights. That's the dream. Let's see if we can pull it off. Indecisive. All right, it's so time to get rid of these uh, archers. Oh, we hit the flank of that guy. That's interesting. And we did it decently. And got a draw there. Now, we can, what we can do here is... Right. We're going to charge these archers. Oh, you know what? We can charge into this battle. Let me think about this. There's a possibility we could charge into these archers and then charge into this battle after the archers run away. That could happen. Or we could end up running over here somewhere, <laughs> which is which is not desirable. I think 
I'm just... Yeah, I'm not gonna take the chance. Wolf's gonna charge into this battle and help out. So, uh... Henry is in battle. And that's gonna help out these knights, who are under some degree of stress. Hey! We got a morale check on him, but he passed. Okay, over here. Right. So we finally got rid of those knights that were putting up the incredible... Incredible struggle. Yeah, I think it's time to rip these guys to shreds with crossbows. There you go. That's cuts them down to size a bit. Uh, these are raw spearmen. They must die. Good. We should win that combat. And now I think it's time to do this, or do we wait another turn? How much how much crossbow ammunition? We have one turn. We have one turn each of crossbow ammunition on these guys. I can charge these guys. These guys are really weak now. Watch out for these sergeants, though. But they're not in position to flank me. Nah. Don't do that yet. Wait until we get this result. Because I don't want to get into trouble here. Do one more shot of crossbows on this guy, on this dismounted knights and sergeant next turn, and then we'll charge and tr try to break this, the log jam here finally. Okay, who hasn't moved? You, 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 you. Oh, and you. What do I do with you? Well, that's an interesting question. could charge here. I could swivel this way and get ready to flank this guy. But that can be easily countered by either of these spearmen. As a matter of fact, if I charge here, this spearman could probably flank me, so that's bad. Yeah, so that's doing this is out because I'll get flanked. I'm just going to pivot this way and threaten the flank here and see what he does. And I believe that is it for everyone that I want to move. Yes. This is a very close battle. Oh, no, that guy on the hill rallied that son of a bitch. No. He's got me he's got me on the hill too. These guys come charging down. Oh wait. Oh no, my guy broke. That's not supposed to happen. Okay, we'll have to do something about that. There's that flank attack. I couldn't prevent it. Oh, I'm getting flanked left and right. Oh, my general died. Oh, that's the second general who's fallen this... Oh, I'm fragmented. All is lost. And that guy charges and gets fragmented, really. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Amazingly, my unit holds firm. Oh, this is so disappointing over here. We had this guy flanked and he survived. Pulled off the sur rallied and pulled it out. I gotta say, the enemy troops have been fighting very bravely. 
They've been passing infinite morale checks. We've got to disrupt there. That's good news. Over here. Keep continuing to stalemate. Ugh, we held firm. Over here, this is interesting. Let's see what happens. Fragmented, good, 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 good. So we're about to break that logjam. This is so frustrating. This battle keeps going on. I think that might be an auto break eventually. He's taking a lot of casualties. These guys are running away. Yeah, we're actually officially losing the battle now after the after this break, this this disaster over here. But now this guy is in the valley and we can charge him from the high ground so we can get some measure of revenge here. Yeah, let's go ahead and start off with an archery barrage first. All right, let's hit him. Hit him from the high ground, armored spearman. Nice. He fell back, son of a bitch. I wanted him to stay in place. Yeah, this is like the Valley of Death. Anybody that goes here dies. <laughs> uh, let's see over here. go fragmented him just a little more to go oh he's still alive how many yeah he's just barely above 50 percent so he's a piece of just that close to auto breaking me i am about to i can't believe i have an auto broken here there it is well that's the best you can ask for from any troop is to auto break that means you did everything possible. You did everything that could have been asked of you. What more can be asked? Okay, here, what do we got? 11%. Eh. It's too bad I lost all my leaders. I could transfer a leader over here to try to rally this guy, but... Unfortunately, all my leaders died. <laughs> they, they've been slaughtered. God, this over here, man, what a titanic battle! And that was this is this is what I like about about the, the this, this medieval because it seems like a lot of this this happens a lot where your guys will get over eager and they'll push an enemy back into enemy, you know, push them back, push them back. But the guys in your flanks are not keeping up with you. And what happens is this. Then you just get cut off and swarmed and destroyed. It's so sad. I was trying to make that happen here, but it didn't quite pan out. Although we are causing casualties. Let's just let... Yeah, he's getting close to the auto break point, too. We just have to keep causing five casualties here and there. Yeah, this guy's been amazing. He's been a rocket. It's been hard to... We got one flank charge on him, but then he rallied. But if I can get uh, maybe ten more, one more round, he should auto break. Got a 21 here, 21.1 percent. That's an indecisive. 16 here. That's good. Indecisive. Here's 48. Held firm. Uh, this is not so good. Uh, our unit held firm. Here's a flank. Okay, this guy uh, let the flank get off, which is great for us. A fragment. 
And they break. And this guy breaks. Chain panic. Hey. <laughs> oh, that was huge. That was huge, guys. That was huge. All right, over here. This indecisive fight here on these knights. I wish I could charge those guys, those sergeants, get them to break. Uh, over here. Yeah, let's uh, do the crossbow shots. God. So we got these down to almost half strength from crossbows. And their banner is just barely uh, above the sky. Let's see if I can break these spearmen. There they go. Off to the races. This guy held firm, unfortunately, but now it's time for him to die. Yeah, see, he's close to the auto break point. That's why I'm not too worried. This guy's going to run, run around this way now. Ooh, look at that. I can turn. That's going to set up a, some flanking possibilities. In fact, this would be a good time to attack this guy then, wouldn't it? Yes, you know what, because he's getting shot by the, these arrows. This would be the time to charge. Okay, good. So now I can, this guy can either flank this guy or this guy, depending on what kind of mood I'm in. All right, these guys. Yeah, these guys are going to hold firm. Stephen might end up trying to charge my wolf spearmen, so let's get into position here to do a flank. And that's it. These guys are pursuing, which is fine. There's nothing dangerous over there. Yeah, you have to be really careful about your knights in this game because the knights will just, they'll just run off and pursue units and could end up getting into trouble doing that. Knights are by nature very impetuous. Hopefully they can... Yeah! <laughs> Shows... Try to attack my flank, will you, buddy? Yeah. Ugh, oh, held firm. Good. I need this guy to auto-break eventually, hopefully. I think a bunch of his units are really close to the... Oh, no, we held firm, but we fell back. Oh, boo. We've... Well, I, I can charge him again. So there is a silver lining there. Meanwhile, just the bloodbath continues over there. Uh-oh. That Oh, that was him disrupted. That's good news. More indecisive results. So it's basically a battle of attrition here in the in the uh, left center. Yes, finally he broke. Thank God. Unfortunately, I got both knights pursuing. Oh, now this is interesting. So here comes King Stephen. He didn't charge my Welsh. My Welsh could charge him, though, come charging down the hill. Oh, no, he did charge me, but he fell back because he realized that was a terrible attack. So 
Yeah, King Steven is not exactly a as dumb as we dumb as we give him credit for. Okay. These guys are sadly pursuing, so they are out of my command range. These guys are still available to do something. What I don't know. I kinda want to get rid of those light archers, but yeah, this unit is very low strength, though. It's kind of teetering on the edge. I'm not sure what to do with him. I guess taking down these archers wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, because I, it, they're not he's not strong enough to take on that unit of knights. Yeah, why don't we threaten to... Why don't we ride down these light archers? That'll have to wait a turn because we weren't facing the right way. All right, let's open up with these archers again on these guys down in the pit. Got a morale check on him, but sadly not enough ammo. charge here. And I think I will. Indecisive, but we definitely got the edge on him. This guy could come down to help, but then we hit, we attack with the Welsh. King Stevie could come down, attack the Welsh, then we flank him, so I think we got this. But then we had this guy to worry about, but he's infantry, who cares? Uh, okay, over here. Right, Rainolf. God, Rainolf has been a terror. Absolute terror. And now this guy, this Ross Spearman's about to break because he's got too much going on. Oh, I could do this attack. Let's see what happens here. Yep. Stalemate. Who knows which one of these will break first. Yuck. Yeah. I'm not looking forward to those attacks. I am kind of looking forward to this attack, though. Let's do this one. Oh, he fragmented him. Good job. So we're going to win that one, hopefully. Fragmented. Good. I think the tide is starting to turn here and over here in this part of the deck part of the woods. Unfortunately, we have to attack this guy on the hill, and that disrupts us. That's a problem. Turn this way. Uh, let's continue this little meat grinder. Ah, can't quite get the win. Indecisive, indecisive. Attack this guy. Let's move you up and turn for the flank. And we can get rid of this guy hopefully next turn with a flank. Okay, that brings us over here. So these guys are going to charge in the rear and flank this guy. And that's going to be big. It's going to be huge. And an auto break. Goodbye. Then I run over here. Oh, it's too bad you didn't hit the flank of that guy. That would have been nice. This guy's going to get... Oh, crossbowed. This guy's going to get crossbowed, I should say. <laughs> Held firm, but how? for how long? Charge! Fall back! <laughs> Damn it. He's going to auto-break soon, though. He's He can't... He can't go on like this. He's below 50% strength. So it's only a matter of time before he auto breaks. You attacked. You attacked. You're pursuing, sadly. That's bad because now this guy's going to flank you. Yeah. The, well, no. Those, those sergeants can't charge because they're... They're 
fragmented, so they actually can't charge. Oh boy. Alright, let's do the attacks that I don't want to do. Uh, auto break. Breaks. Oh. So disappointing. So disappointing. We had such high hopes over here, but this stupid general is... Look at this. He's got... He's less than 50%. But he held on. What a stud. What an absolute god. Completely destroyed my center. That single that single unit of dismounted knights. And I don't have anything to plug the plug the hole. We've committed our last reserve. The good news is we're winning in other areas of the battlefield, but here it's kind of a disaster. Yeah, you're gonna hold fast. You are gonna hold fast. Oh shit, you know what? You're actually in a bad place. Yeah, you got yeah, you could get charged coming down the hill. You need to back up. Yeah, otherwise that would have been bad. Ah, so it's just you. Okay, end turn. Oh, you can stop pursuing now, he's routing. <laughs> yeah, it's unnecessary. You don't need to do that. Oh, shit. Grog's finest got disrupted. That's a really bad sign. You know, this battle could go to uh, 60%. Oh, no. No, not Grog's finest. Poor Grog's finest is now going to... Oh, look at this. This guy's charging the Welsh. And it's indecisive. Yeah, this battle's probably going to go to 60%. It's just one of those battles. Hopefully some of his guys will finally break. Oh, he's charging my crossbowman. Suicide. Oh, he actually... Actually got the win. No, don't fragment. Ugh. Grog's Grog's finest is collapsing. Yeah, he's rolling up this flank. Oh no. Okay, we got a morale check there at least. That guy breaks, yay, so that's one small victory for us there on that flank. At least we're holding the hill. Uh, one of his guys broke and caused some chain panicking. That's lovely. All right, so actually that last attack was a, was a huge one for us because a whole bunch of his guys panicked and ran. That's interesting. There's King Stephen. No, don't do that. Or maybe do do that. No, eh, maybe. I think I'd rather get him. I think if we charge him from the high ground, though, we'll have a big advantage. I keep shooting you. You need to die. I will pursue you to the ends of the earth. Most likely true. Have you guys uh, stopped pursuing? No, you haven't. Damn it. Okay. What are my odds here? Pretty decent. Pretty good. Until the knights charge, of course. me think oh there's nothing in this nothing here what are we going to do we're lost the flank is lost now this guy can move down here and then eventually get a flank or I could charge right now and get a non-flank 
my center. <laughs> There's nothing there. It's just a hole. And Grog's finest is trying to hold off four units. Uh, we can charge these guys and make them flee, though. Oh, this is terrible. And you know the worst thing about this is? It's actually four o'clock. I have to go. <laughs> I can't I can't take I can't do another turn. I've gotta go now. It's Bradford is Bradford is here. Hey Bradford. Bradford is reminding me that it's time for his walk. So unfortunately we're gonna have to call it quits here right now at this critical juncture. I hate to do it because I wanna keep playing. This is such a good battle. Damn it! Oh, it's alright. I'm gonna thank Bradford for his walk. Hey and Brocon, good to see ya. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have uh, Shadow Empire on the schedule for Wednesday, but you know what I might do is I might I might schedule a stream tomorrow so we can finish at least finish this battle because this battle is so damn good. I want to finish it. So i tell you what, we'll either do one of two things. We'll play this uh, instead of Shadow Empire on Wednesday, and we'll go ahead and continue the campaign. Um, or I might do a special stream tomorrow. We'll see. One of the two things will happen because this battle is too good not to finish. Uh, yeah. So, anyways, guys, thanks for joining. Thanks for all the new follows. Uh, much appreciated. Thanks for the bits from Lord Cucumber. Much appreciated. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be it for today. It's Bradford walk time. So I will see you guys soon. Take care. All right, well, let's continue here. We are uh, in one hell of a battle here versus the uh, versus the pretender King Stephen, who is right here, as a matter of fact. So let's go ahead and continue this battle and see if we can somehow pull out a win here. We're we have a bit of a problem because they punched a giant hole in our center. But we are kind of winning up on this hill. And we are kind of winning here on the other flank over here, fortunately. Yeah, we've broken through over here. Uh, we sent forces from the middle, some reserve forces to the middle over to the right. That looks like it may have been a little too hasty a maneuver. <laughs> because now we don't have a center. But, uh We'll see what we can do. Yeah, there's this one leader that's been absolutely insane for them. Oh, Grog's finest. It's about to run and flee here. All right, well, let's continue here. Now, here is King Stephen. I have these knights here. I could charge them and probably lose. So we won't do that. Some disrupted light archers here. I think they already shot. Oh, I've got these archers. Can I shoot the king? Yeah, we can shoot King Stephen's unit. Kills, takes down four of them. Alright, see if my Welsh up on the hill can do some nasties to this guy here. These raw spearmen, yay! Oh, we pushed it back, shit. Alright, that's interesting. Oh, uh, yeah, I got even more archers. Yeah, let's keep shooting. Oh, too far away. Oh, I can't see him. Okay, we'll shoot at these guys then. Shoot at King Stephen. Another dead knight. Okay, I've got armored spearmen here that are in great shape. Hmm. Let's see if I can win this battle. Oh, that's going to be a rough one. guys are about to break unless I can charge in here. 
but that leaves me available to being flanked from these guys. Still, though, I think it's probably worth it, because if we can beat these guys quickly... Damn it. there because then these guys could come over here and then attack me from the hill. So standing there is inadvisable. I could go here though. Yeah, and that'll keep, uh, that'll keep him honest. So to speak. Uh, I don't want to run that battle. That's too depressing. Well, I don't want to run that battle. That's also depressing. I do want to do this flank, though. Get a disruption. See if we can get more results here. Fragmented him. Good. these guys to flee. Yes, good job. Alright, brings him up uh, to 42%. Unfortunately, we need to have a 25% advantage before we can claim victory here. Now, over here... Yeah, these guys charged my crossbowmen who were just ripping them to shreds. crossbowmen up to go after his horse there. See if I can break them. Or I could just shoot at him. Why don't I just shoot at him from here? Because I don't want to stand out in the open just in case. Actually, you know what? I don't think it really matters. Might be best to move them out, because these guys, I think, are about to break. Let's go ahead and find out. And I charge them with the knights. That They're so close to auto-breaking that I have to think. Yeah, there they go. Alright, so that brings them up to 44 and 15. completely fine. You know what? I'm actually completely fine bringing the crossbowmen out. But, mm, yeah, we'll just keep them here. get these guys to flee. These guys are still pursuing. Alright, so we're up to 4719. These guys will just flip around this way. Actually go this way. Those are knights and sergeants there. Let's see if we can finally break them. Here's my, uh, here's Hen Henry Fitz Empress. Falls back, interesting. Alright. Now the attacks that we don't want to do. <laughs> it's just, these are what we've been avoiding. God, he's got, uh, another... Yeah, that's the that's the uh, 
Oh goodness. That's Renelf de la Eagle. He's the uh, general that managed to stave off defeat for so long. And basically turned around things around for them here in the center. Let's go ahead and charge here. We got a good result there. Okay. Well, that could be the end of Grog's finest here. No, oh, he's hanging in there. And he breaks. Oh, no! Okay. And then this battle's not looking so hot either. And that's an auto break. So we are, uh, we are not close to victory. We're only at 13% advantage, not 25. After those two breaks. So it looks like this battle might go down to uh, whoever reaches 60% first. It is that grim a battle. And that's the end of this turn. But well, we've had a tremendous victory on the right flank, at least. <clears throat> but our center is gone, and our left is looking a little iffy. Yeah, there goes. There's more pressure on the center. guy recharges, wow. Disrupts himself. These guys went after... Oh, I forgot about those guys. I think they were pursuing. I think that was the deal. Oh, yeah. Then the, yeah, these guys are... Tr oh. How did I forget to move those? Maybe I did move them last. Yeah, I must have. Because I know I hit... Oh, uh, shit. Because I know I hit the tab button. So I must have moved them uh, uh, on Monday. That guy breaks. They're up to 50%. That guy held firm, unfortunately. Ugh, what a battle. Yeah, I wonder if I can charge his knights. With my s I would lose the char the impact, probably, but I would have a big, huge advantage in the melee. I think I'm just going to hold my ground and shoot arrows at Tank Steven. Since his knights on horseback need such juicy targets for arrows. actually caused a morale check from four archery attacks. It's my charge. Hmm. Hmm. You know, we could charge him. We don't have that bad a disadvantage on the impact, then we have a clear advantage on the melee from the high ground. It's the only problem is he might run, in which case my knights might charge the infantry raw spearmen on the hill which wouldn't be too good so I need to think about that one carefully uh, let's see how this battle goes see if I can somehow pull out a victory here yay we got an auto break thank god that brings him up to 52 percent unfortunately I have to fight this battle and that's a break Oh, disrupts an archer on the hill. I'm trying to cut. I'm going to try to chase these archers off the map. Actually broke them good. So um, hopefully we can turn around and get these guys broken too. That brings them up to 54%.
here we're going to charge in actually yeah you're going to turn this way you're still pursuing that's unfortunate ahead and hit these archers for me, that'd be great. And that gives a flank attack. Hey, hey. And fragments his knights. So then I do this attack. And he auto breaks. That's another one that brings about to 57%. Charges, oh, charges those archers in the rear. Breaks them, oh my goodness. Brings them up to 58%. These guys are now... <laughs> oh, he charges those two and breaks those. Oh, God. Who are these knights and sergeants number 30? Have just got them up to one percentage point of victory for us. Amazing. Amazing turn of events here on the right flank. Uh, yeah, let's charge these archers because why not? You're pursuing, you're pursuing. I need to get these crossbowmen someplace useful. So let's move them this way. Yeah, things are all peaches and roses here on the right flank. Okay, left uh, center, not so good. Not so good, though. Uh, you're pursuing, sadly. You hit the flank. Uh... Ooh, 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 I, have cross, I have some more crossbowmen. We can't move, though. Eh, no. Well, yeah, why not? Make sure they don't rally. Doing. All right, let's see if we can do some, get a win here. Oh. Not looking good for these spearmen. That's an auto break. So there's absolutely nothing left in the center. But we've done okay on the left and the right, although the, the left is a little dicey yet. I'm a little worried this guy's going to get charged in the rear from these spearmen, but we'll see. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to attack here because I can keep shooting arrows at them while we're unengaged. He's got more of an incentive to attack me than I do to attack him because I can just shoot him with arrows while we're staring at each other. He doesn't have that luxury, so... Okay, is anybody... Oh, yeah, these guys haven't moved. Those are my sergeants, and they're disrupted. Okay, so you just stand there. Don't do anything. Do anything. Yep, yeah, in turn. We are so close. 59%. So close. Calling this a victory. What a battle it's been, though. My goodness. Now, once my guys that are my knights that are off on the right pursuing fleeing guys, once they decide to uh, get back to doing real work, we should be able to get that last 1%. All right, there's a fragment. Uh, his raw spearman got desperate and charged the Welsh. Wasn't a good idea. They were greatly disadvantaged. Our unit won, and now he's fragmented. So yay, Welshmen. Alright, 
It's not over yet. Oh, one of my guys rallied. Two of my guys rallied. All right. That gives us a 20. We might win by that means. Okay, it's a good thing that these guys rallied. Let's just turn them around. Let's see if they get the morale back. All right, over here, we keep shooting arrows at, at King Steven here. Let's see if we can whittle him down. Yeah, his banner's getting ripped up. Okay, you know what? I think it's time to charge King Steven. Let's see how we do here. We break him. Good job. Good job, Welsh. Necessarily a great idea. Yeah, I hate the fact that these guys could possibly charge me in the back. That's another reason why I don't really want to attack them. Yeah, these guys are probably going to attack my archers. Not much I can do about it. We do have them at 60%, though. Let's turn this guy around. I don't want to do that attack. Let's fall back to the hillside. Uh, this guy, I think, actually rallied. Let's... Oh, shoot, are we pursuing? Damn it. Damn it, we're pursuing. I want to break that guy. Uh, let's attack here. We have an advantage. Going to start moving our crossbowmen over there now. These guys are pursuing, these guys are pursuing. There's Henry. <laughs> Henry's like, well, so much for the right flank. Now I have saved the center, which is completely owned by the enemy. The enemy's at 60%, so if that holds up through the enemy turn next turn, then this should be a victory. Yeah, this guy. I don't know what to do with this guy. Oh, yeah, this, I'm afraid these guys are going to come down and charge me. Can't really prevent it, though. So that's it. That's going to be the end of this turn. Let's see if this 60% uh, holds up. In which case, we will have a great victory on our hands. Firm. Yeah, Reynolf is continuing to cause havoc on that uh, on the in the center for us. Here's the charge on those archers on the hill. They were only slightly advantaged because we were on a hill, so 
We do have a draw there, which is good news. The fight continues. We fragmented uh, King Stephen. And we're about, we could get a flank with the infantry here, but it's over. They could not get us, get below 60% on their turn. And that is it for the battle. That's a wrap. What a fight, my goodness. Let's see what the butcher's bill is. 21 for, took 21% in victory compared to 58% loss for them. Yeah, they actually outnumbered us by about 1,000. What what a tough battle. What a tough fight. Right on.